The direct stiffness method and finite element methods more generally are all about building models of behavior at the element level and combining these models together using matrices to form an overall model of structural behavior. So the first step is really to get a handle on element behavior and establish some appropriate models for element behavior. In this section, we're going to work our way through establishing these models. Now, when I say models of element behavior, what I mean is that we want to determine for a given element and material, the quantity or constant that relates the stress to the corresponding strain. So for simple uniaxial tension or compression, this is Young's modulus. We're familiar with the idea that stress equals Young's modulus times strain. As we'll see in this section, for more complex stress states that emerge with 3D elements, we need a more complex expression that relates the stresses to the corresponding strains. In this section, we'll develop these more complex but essential models. This section covers a lot of the fundamental elastic behavior theory and concepts that we're going to deploy later in this course and indeed in subsequent courses. So although for many this will be a review, stick with it until the end, it will pay off down the road.